the day, we're cruising on into the world of Dustborn, a game that's been stirring up quite a storm. Now, some have tried to dismiss it as just another woke title, but let me tell you, there's actually a lot more beneath the surface. It was developed by Red Thread Games and released in late August 24. Dustborn is a genre-bending adventure that's as unique as they come. Dustborn takes us on a journey across an alternate America with a band of super-powered misfits. It's a narrative-driven experience that combines elements of adventure, rhythm, and beat-em-up gameplay into a cohesive comic book style escapade. And to be clear, there's literally an in-game comic book that serves as a vehicle to recapture plot with. A few critics have been quick to judge this title, but I think there's a lot worth unpacking on your own, and we shouldn't be so quick to judge. First off, the gameplay is something fresh and exciting. You're not just running around punching bad guys. You're using the power of words in combat, you're influencing minds, and you're trying to navigate complex relationships, some of them your own. It's a game that challenges you to think differently about how you interact with the world and the people in it. Now the rhythm sections, the dialogue choices, and even the action, it all flows seamlessly, creating an experience that's both engaging and emotionally resonant. It's a game that's not afraid to wear its heart on its sleeve, tackling big ideas with robots and bunny hats and science fiction squid things. The art style, bold and striking. Every scene is a dynamic painting, making you feel like you're part of a living, breathing graphic novel. And the characters, oh the characters. They're as diverse as they are charming, each bringing their own story and struggles to the table. The rhythm sections are a bit limited, what with being on a controller, and I won't speak to the quality of the songs, because that's a bit subjective. But I will say, the songs sung in the game themselves didn't resonate with me, personally. But the backing soundtrack while playing other elements of the game was on point. I want to address the so-called woke elements. Yes, Dustborn features strong LGBTQ plus representation. But it does so with grace and reverence to the topic. It's not shoehorned in most of the time. I can kind of see some complaints. The way the main character says mom's does feel like she's challenging you to question what she's saying, when in reality, you're just like, yep, okay, two moms, zero consequence to the plot, just a factual element about this character. Moving on now. Though I will say, most of the time, it's absolutely integral to the story. It's natural, and it's authentic. To those reviewers that can't see past their own bias, I say you're missing out. Dustborn is a testament to the power of genre combination and storytelling. It's a journey that's worth taking, earning my recommendation. A game that stands tall on its own merits. I mean, what can I say? I personally feel that diversity and strong gameplay mechanics can coexist. After the rhythm sections, all I could think about was how badly I wanted to play Guitar Hero. I need a good rhythm game that can use my classic USB guitar controller. You know, what games ever worked with that thing? If you know, be sure to drop some down in the comments. Oh, and uh, while you're down there, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time.